Here you go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Kenny Florian, BJ Penn. And here we go. BJ has excellent stand up. Oh, just missed. Oh, spinning back kick. Body shot. Push kick. Oh, nice body kick. Trying to find the range. Oh, caught it right there. Caught a left, pardon me, jab. He's eating some punches. Eats a jab. Beautiful hook. Jab, jab, and the right. Takes a couple to the body. Pushing forward quickly. Got that one through. Good punch right there. Under three minutes now. Body shot. Wow, two guys willing to throw this is a crazy with fight. just basic recklessness and no abandon. Joe Penn, one of the best at using the jab as a serious weapon. He has let a lot of people remember how important that tool is. Combination, left, right. That one landed. Left hook, he's down! Under two minutes remains. Joe, this place is going wild. Good body shot. Tried to come around with the left. 90 seconds remains. Just over a minute remains. Joe, what's the key on the inside leg kick from a defensive point of view? You gotta check it. You gotta either check it or you gotta get your leg out of the way. Gotta keep those hands up. 45 seconds remains. Came with the overhand right. Oh, left hook. 30 seconds remains in the round. seconds on the clock. He eats a jab. Round's gonna come to conclusion. Round one of this fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds is over. Let's take a look at some of that action here. Take up the press. The only thing, crowd him again, okay? We're gonna crowd him again. You're not going to wait. There she is, the beautiful Ariani. Here we go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Second round. Remember this fight scheduled? For five five-minute rounds, it's the championship fight. Training at Team Sit Tongue under Mark Delagrati since he was 28 years old. There's something very special when you talk about the relationship between Delagrati and Florian. You know, Delagrati is a phenomenal coach, and one of his best assets is how close he gets to his fighters and how much trust they develop in him. And, you know, uh, that is the case with him and Kenny Florian. I mean, he has really become very close with Kenny and really developed Kenny's game as if he was developing his own. And the emotion that he puts into it and the pride that he puts into his fighters really shows in their performance and in the relationships that they have with him as a coach. Caught him with the kick. Just missed with that one. Oh, just missed. Three minutes remains in the second round. Good straight right. Uppercut. Swing and a miss. He ate one. He ate that one. Under two minutes remains. 
Nice oh, leg body kick. vicious, Joe. Head kick. Trying to come over the top. A little bit over a minute to go. Oh, landed a shot there. Less than a minute remains in round two. Forty-five seconds remains. Mixing up the strikes. And the knee to the midsection. Final 30 seconds of the second round. Oh, stumbled him that time. 15 seconds on the clock. Oh, good nice jab. jab. Final seconds ticking away. Beautiful head kick there. Joe, I don't know how either of our fighters survived that round. Yeah, that's amazing. Either one of those guys could have gone out in that round, Mike. Let's take a look at some of the action here. Okay? You don't get the takedown, you're going back to the strikes. You're looking perfect. Here you go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. And we are set for the start of round three. Kenny Florian, when he was on the cast of the original Ultimate Fighter, fought really 30 pounds over what he fights at presently at lightweight. He fought as a middleweight, but he had jiu-jitsu skills and a big heart that led him all the way to the finals. Yeah, that, I mean, that really shows what kind of competitor he is because, I mean, he was clearly outmatched size-wise, strength-wise, and, you know, wound up uh, actually fighting and, and getting to the finals and losing to Diego Sanchez. You know, just a huge testament to the, the heart and courage of uh, Kenny Florian. Now they clinch. Inside with the clinch again. Working in the clinch. Nice left hands. Trying to find the range. Body shot. Under three minutes now. Just missed with that one. Midway point of the fight. Oh, nice leg kick. Oh, ate a hook though. Under two minutes remains. Oh, big right hand. Oh, to the head. And it's all over. Just like that. What a finish. Here we see it. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by knockout. And now, the new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Kenny and Flo. And Kenny Florian is the new UFC lightweight champion.